for another video here on my channel, MSVIP Life. Please to like, subscribe, share this video, and feel free to check out my Instagram. Hello. So, a couple of weeks ago, I made a video asking for volunteering work over the summer. And quite a lot of places, well, quite a few places reached out to me. And I went and had a meeting at Dave Crabby. And the person who was talking to me about it offered me a couple of options of what to do work-wise there. And we managed to find something to fit. And then we decided that we'd have the induction sessions and see how it went. So the first induction sessions, I went around with a member of my family and a tour guide, just me and them, to get myself familiar with the place and to learn some of the history behind it. And the history behind it is really interesting. Then the second two times, I again went with one of my family members and we were on the back of a tour. So the tours are like an hour and a half, hour and three quarters long. And we're back on tour and again, learnt, learnt, listen to history again, familiarise myself with the rooms again. And then at the end of this last session, I had a discussion again with the same lady who interviewed me the first time and we had a chat and I said that I was really keen to do it and but we agreed that me being a chaperone for a tour was not a brilliant idea because obviously because of my vision so instead we decided that I would be based in a certain um, in certain rooms so we're in a certain zone which consists of four rooms and that I would be there and interact with the visitors in that zone rather than have to go around with the whole tour because there are a few bits downstairs that are quite dark but the rooms upstairs are quite bright because there's lots of windows so that those rooms are really good so yeah so I am Abby host of that zone um, which yeah consists of four rooms and what happens is a tour guide comes in with a group, tells them the history behind it, and then when they're finished, I interact with the visitors, answer any questions the visitors may have, and then they continue on with the tour. And I couldn't have picked a better thing, and I couldn't have had a better opportunity in terms of volunteering, because what would be better for me, apart from talking about history all afternoon? Because <laughs> the thing I do, a, I do a Sunday afternoon, quarter past one till half four and it is incredible I didn't want to finish when I had my first session last Sunday well yeah the Sunday just gone um because the lady came up to get me to take me to daddy's right outside and she's like do you want to finish now and I said no because the group had just walked in so I don't think I actually finished till probably 22 quarter to five because I wanted to stay and keep talking about the history of it and I learnt some new parts of the history of it from some of the things at all I said. And also, I think I did quite a good job for my first session there. So I can't wait to keep going. And I'm sure I will enjoy it just as much every single time I go and do it. Because I'm doing it from now all the way up to the end of August. And then we review it again at the end of August. And then we decide whether I want to continue it or not when I go to college next year. It was because of the Sunday, I could still continue it then because it wouldn't interfere with college. But it is incredible. So, so good. I said, I can't wait to continue. And like I said, I couldn't, have, I couldn't have found a better thing at all. So, yeah, feel free to come along and learn some of the history behind a really nice place in Northampton. That's it. Learning more history about something somewhere I didn't know even existed in somewhere I've lived for for ages. <laughs> yeah, for some nice, nice grounds, lake, and then the house. So yeah, feel free to come on a tour. You never know, I might be there being happy host. Well, yeah. Thanks for saying. I'll see you guys next one. Bye.